Hello everybody, this is Master Joe. Welcome to the review of the Vintage G.I. Joe figures. To look at the Net88 Hydra Viper. Well, this figure is a very cool figure with lots of accessories. And it is a very scary figure, of course. And you know that a lot of seamen, they have a little bit of mysterious. And uh, when this guy is coming out of the surface, so, and shooting you with his harpoon gun, the first reaction is not shooting back, I believe. It's the... Uh, just standing there, I don't know what to do because this face is really scary. And he is in the Cobra team. And in 1985, there is another frogman, which is Eels. And first, you should be the Eels, and then volunteer to be a Hydro Viper to have some genetically changed to your body. Well, this is a very cool guy. And actually, this figure didn't appear in the in the cartoon, but his first appearance in the comic books is in the issue 81. And he didn't wear his helmet. He just standing there as a background. Well, that is his first appearance. And this is a very cool guy. So let's look at his file card to get some information about this guy first. All right, and here's the file card. And his code name is Hydra Vipers, which means they are not just one person there. It's a whole team. And they are the demon of the deep. Uh, they are Cobra Underwater Elite Chopper. Hydra Vipers are qualified eels. Cobra Frogman. A frogman means uh, the soldier fights under the water. And who volunteer to be surgically outer to be withstand nitrogen, narcosis, and other side effects of deep diving. Synthetic webs are implanted between their fingers, and a subcutaneous fat production is stimulated by chemical injection to provide natural isolation. The long-term effect of these procedures is known to be psychologically destabilizing. And here, I'm sorry, these guys just aren't human anymore. They have a handshake like a dead macro, and they leave damped spot on all the furniture. I realize that they are virtually unbeatable in underwater combat, but so is a great white shark. I'll bet the white shark is friendlier. So this is very terrible. He's really the demon of the deep. So let's look at the figure here. Well, so look at this figure here, and it's a very cool figure, and this figure is in the 1988 toy line. And also made in Hong Kong. So let's see the accessories first and his harpoon gun. So a harpoon gun is first used to uh, to defend himself against the white shark and under the water. And later it's used as a weapon. And we have introduced the eels. The eels harpoon gun there is a stunner in the front. And this is just a one harpoon gun. It is a very cool and very detailed molded gun here. And also the next accessory is his flipper here. Okay, it is kind of a soft texture and just like a demon's feet here. And also, uh, you don't have to worry about the pack hole here because usually uh, there's one part is really uh, easy to broken is this pack hole. So when you plug in, because it is kind of soft, so you don't have to worry about this hole being broken. Okay, and I'll put it here. Okay. It is a very cool. Actually, uh, this flippers here just matches his helmet. The color is red. And also his feet is also red because uh, the flipper here, and just like a whole complete flipper. Okay? And the next accessory is this backpack and also the helmet here. Let's take it off. Okay. All right, just, uh, <laughs> okay, just take it off. Okay, so let's uh, see the mask here. And his mask, there are two holes. So which means he can really see through these eyes to the outside. And also his mask reminds me of the Japanese samurai's mask to really scare your opponent. And also the head here is just like a devil fish. Uh, by the way, this devil fish is his friend, he's his pet here. But just like devil fish lying on the top of his helmet. Okay. And also, uh, his uh, devil fish is a robbery tester. It's very detail molded. It just looks like a stingray. We know that stingray is kind of a dangerous animal in the ocean. And we know that crocodile hunter, he died from this uh, stingray because stingray just shoot out a, a spear into his chest. That is a sad story. Okay. And also, there is a spear thing behind his tail. Okay. All right. And also, the backpack. The backpack is uh, played as an air tank, so it can supply him with some oxygen. And there are one, two, three, three tanks here. And there are some detail here, like some, some gauges. Okay. 
And also the backpack, there are two little pack here, and you can just plug this hose and into this little pack. And if these packs are broken, you cannot do that. So when you purchase this backpack, there's this two little pack are very important. And also in the front of his mask, there are two pack here, and which can be used to plug in these hoses. So this is the mask and also the air tank here. And also there is another accessory is this lightning shaped dagger, but it's very detailed and belongs to a Hydro Viper only. Okay, so let's look at his figure here. Well, this guy's face, there is a mask around his head here. This mask just reminds me of Bane from the Batman. Can help him to breathe. And also there are two holes here. I believe these two holes just go back to his backpack here. And also his hand. We know that he's have some surgical change to his body, so he's no longer a human. So which means he can dive in the water longer time, just longer than the deep six. Okay. And also there is a belt with some pouches here, little uh, pockets here. I believe there are some uh, explosive thing because he will fight a long time under the sea. And also there is a holster for the dagger. And actually this part, according to the file card, is a storage for the harpoon gun. And actually we can see from the file card here. And this part is a sticker, but we can just uh, put it here. We can see uh, this lag here is a place to store his harpoon gun. It is also like a holster thing. But actually the toy, there is just this part but you cannot store the gun here. Okay, so this is the correct way of storing his gun. So if you can do that, uh, it would be much cooler. And also there is a nice way to store his harpoon gun, which is behind the backpack. Okay, there is a little pack here and also the harpoon gun here, we can just store it in this place. Okay, and also we can also store his knife through this little hole here. So when he just uh, carried his backpack, it is a very nice storage. So now let's see the articulation of this figure. This is 1988 figure. So after the 1985, all the figures can go up, the head can go back and forth because there is a bow joint here and he can go left to right. He can tilt a little bit, no problem. And you can turn around his arm 360 and his little arm can bend here and also can swivel his little arm here and his, his body can uh, turn around because there's already inside of there it can lift up his leg and he can bend down the knee here so now let's put on his accessories so first is this backpack okay okay and then is this harpoon gun let him catch it okay and then is these two flippers Okay, and last but not least is this helmet here. Okay, it is a very cool detailed helmet. Let him wear it. Okay, so this is figure Hydro Viper, and this is a very cool figure with a lot of accessories. And you can also army build this figure. And if you like this video, please press like and subscribe to my channel. And because your like and your subscribe is my future motivation to make all of these videos. Thanks so much for watching, and see you next time.